Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day. Maybe a few ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Layback Gamer and we are back with some more Greedfall. And in today's episode, we are going to kind of pick up where we left off last time. We're just going to do a little bit of questing in Hikmet, as well as potentially and go out do some more exploring. You really got to dedicate a couple episodes to just exploring and completely filling out some of the regions. But anyways, uh, we've got some miscellaneous quests that we need to get finished, as well as some uh, relations to hopefully build. Hello there. How are you today? Your Excellency, Lord Desade. And to what do I owe this honor? Actually, I would uh, speak about the alliance with the Ulan. I met Ulan, the Bone Blower's clan chief, from the village of Vignamri. He is an open-minded man who holds great expectations of exchanges with the colonies. He would like to meet you to discuss a treaty, even an alliance. Ulan, you say? I have never heard mention of this name, but to finally have an ally among the natives could only be beneficial. That is excellent news. Still, I fear that I cannot leave the city. That would be taking too much of a risk. I doubt that Ulan will come to Hikmet. He is looking for an alliance, but he is not desperate. Such a gesture would be considered a sign of weakness by his clan. That is understandable, I suppose. Do they grasp the concept of emissaries? Do you think that solution might work? I think that might be possible. I'm sure he would understand that you could not come to see him in person for the same reason. Excellent. Finally, some clear skies in our negotiations with the natives. My right-hand man will then go to this village to finalize an agreement with King Ulan. I'll be there too, to make sure everything goes according to our plans. There is another matter concerning the same village that I would like to bring to your attention. A wandering merchant, a member of Ulan's clan, is being kept in your outpost. Can you authorize his entry into the city? I see no harm in that. This merchant is certainly not a threat to us. And he might even prove useful, if the negotiations with his clan should take a foul turn. Here, please be so kind as to give him this letter of passage. If he presents it to the guards, they will let him in and he'll be able to establish his stall in town. I thank you. I hope to see you again. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. Well, how awesome is that? And here I thought he was going to take a, a might bit of convincing. This is fantastic. Everybody just seems to be in agreement with each other. That is most excellent news. I like it when people just get along with each other. Alright, so I think I gotta head all the way... Oh, we can also talk to the captain of this outpost. Well, it would do us some good to stretch the legs a little bit. I certainly did a lot of that today. Oh boy, between uh, between some work where I was on the floor today, as well as my workout that I do every day. Well, not every day, sorry, every other day. Uh, my feet, uh, are, they, they don't want to go anywhere anymore. I just want to sit down, relax, enjoy the rest of the evening. Of course, playing a little bit of Greedfall in the process, because, come on, I like a good bit of video game action. There's our camp. Yeah. The other thing we can do while we're here is we can talk to the captain. Be able to talk to him. Yeah, I can see the uh, icon above his head. We'll go ahead and have a quick chat with this good captain. Hello. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? Talk about the uh, attacks. Governor Burren has asked me to help you fight against the caravan attacks. Could you tell me precisely what's going on? For weeks we have been harassed by the savages. They're waiting for groups of soldiers or caravans to be out of sight of the outpost. An attack with incredible violence. They don't just steal goods or equipment. They kill without mercy. Only one man survived their last attack. He's here in a sorry state. Do you think he could answer a few questions? Yes, but take it easy on him. I'll make sure I do, Captain. All right, you have to question the merchant. 
Surviving merchant, I don't know where he is. Uh, we, we'll get to that in just a bit. Right now we gotta give this other merchant a letter. That would do him some good. So we can go back and give... Yeah, we'll go back and talk. Uh, excuse Please, me. Help me. Just keep walking, Renaixe. This does not concern you. Have mercy. They will kill me. I am but a merchant who wishes to trade with the big city. Let's use some charisma. I never thought I would see several islander warriors attacking a mere merchant. And I thought honor and righteousness were of the utmost importance in your culture. <laughs> I must have been mistaken. What are you trying to say, Renaixe? Are you insulting us? You're insulting yourselves by behaving this way. He's an unarmed man. He's trying to survive. What honor is there in attacking him? He is a traitor. He deserves to be punished. But you are right. He is not worth attacking. Let's leave. His punishment will come once we have chased it and Ike say away, and he cannot sell his products. Adlo Reda on Almanawi. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. Think nothing of it. Ulan told me that you were not able to enter the town. It is true. The soldiers did not let me enter. They left me outside. And the Donea Exdragao took advantage of this opportunity to attack me. Rest assured, I have obtained permission for you to enter from the governor of Hikmet, which should allow you to set up your stall in the city. At Loreda Renaixi. Thanks again. Farewell, merchant. Perhaps we will meet again. All right, well, that was nice of us. And... We'll then have to go inform the emissary. However... Uh, looks like we're gonna have to maybe take these, uh, talks a little seriously about, uh, the natives attack of the caravans. So these look like a different set of, uh, natives compared to what we are supposed- what, uh, what we're trying to establish an alliance with. Hello there. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was informed that your caravan was looted, and that you were the sole survivor of the attack. It's true, Your Excellency. It was awful. All those deaths. The violence. We followed the recommended precautions to the letter, but it was useless. Let's ask about the circumstances of these attacks. How did the attack happen? We traveled all day. We were exhausted, and night was approaching. We knew we were not very far from the outpost, but we couldn't go any further. So we camped away from the road, trying to stay out of sight. Alas, it was in vain. That's when they struck, in the middle of the night. Uh, what about the attackers? Were there several attackers? I counted five, maybe six. But others were hiding in the woods. I'm sure of it. If they only had their usual stone weapons, we may have hoped to escape them. But their weapons were inflamed. I have never been so scared in my life. Inflamed, you say? Talk about these goods. What were you transporting? Mostly food, but also herbs and other ingredients for scientists. Did the attackers take it? Everything was a blur. I don't know if they intended to steal or destroy it. Unfortunately, my companions died while trying to protect our cargo. Are you saying that the loot has started by attacking your cargo? Yes, Your Excellency. Maybe more of us would have survived if we'd all fled. What about these precautions? You mentioned recommended precautions. Yes. Since attacks occur often, we were given a number of precautions to avoid them. Do not travel at certain times. Do not camp near the road. Do not light any fires. All of it was useless. It would have been better to recruit guards to escort us. Hmm. Based on what you're saying, the attacks were very targeted. They must have a camp near the outpost to monitor the road. But what is their goal? Why attack all the caravans along this route? They must want to cut off the supply lines to Hikmet. We'll go to the scene of the attack. 
I might find something there to help track these rebels. All right, sounds good. Oh, uh, oh, it's even on the plate in map. Okay, we'll go ahead and take care of it while we're here in Hikmet. Then we'll head out and go inform Ulan of the emissary. I do hope that they don't, and uh, I do hope that it is an actual emissary and not. Yeah, we're sending a bunch of people here to be hostile. We talk to you and maybe de make a deal with you. No, we can't. Oh well. Let's look at nice creature you got there. The caravan was some distance from the road when it was attacked. I know that. Hello. I'll take this. Ah, this is where we're getting some buff fungus. Stay alert. Yeah, let's put the berries up. Yeah, there are those trees hanging around I'm not seeing now. Right here, let's investigate. The food has been destroyed. They clearly don't need it, which means that their camp should be close by. They must have died protecting their goods. How sad. These wounds appear to be caused by stone blades. The kind of weapons that islanders use. Okay, no comments, Yura. The crates are empty. Their entire contents have been destroyed. These goods were not meant to reach their destination. They acted quickly, methodically. And then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around. Don't suppose they are, uh... No, surely they can't be. Surely. Whoa. Oh, crud. One of these guys again. Oh. Yeah, I'm good. Good double T. Oh. Just stay down, you bat. Good job, lads. And we got. Oh, sweet. I got free ammo. I got it. Not. Sorry, I shouldn't say free ammo. I got to replenish to my ammo. Well, clearly, whoever it was is not back in here. Perhaps they're over this way, where the quest is pointing us towards. Bunch of creatures to kill. Oh. Ow. Thanks for the heal. Oh. Oh. Bad creature. Bad. <laughs> a big fan of these guys. Uh, use a couple of my bullets on them. Now, to be fair, we are starting to find crafting ingredients to be able to make more. Search for the rebels. I got a feeling that the rebels will find us. Or we find them. Sweet. Oh, fungus. Thank you. Nope, there's a camp here. Look at that, we can actually quick set up camp. And that is all the camps set up around Hikmet. Excellent. Very good.
don't necessarily look like uh, rebels, but it is something for us to fight. something in his pocket. Perhaps maybe they were meant to feed these creatures. Which are actually very easy to take. It's very easy to beat now. Alright. Let's see. I'm afraid this trip will be the last. We're very cautious. We even ate cold food every night because lightning lighting a fire is too dangerous. The other field were being observed. He was in the caravan, but whoever attacked him decided to drag him here. And feed him to the wild beasts. The Donea Ectregal do this as a sort of scare tactic. This is a message for other merchants. Fascinating insight. No, that's not scaring me off. Oh, great. More beasts. Friendly? Nope. Oh. Oh. Move this way. Come on, big boy. Oh, Kirk, you're not supposed to kill him. I want the traps to do the work. No, oh, thanks, Kirk. Okay, can I at least pick these up again? I kind of forget if I can. Okay, yes, I can. Good. Alrighty, I keep forgetting I can use the... I can. I keep forget that I... I cannot talk. I keep forgetting that I can set these traps down whenever I want. It would be very useful for quickly placing one down, getting an enemy to... a couple enemies to walk into it, and then watching the fireworks go. Oh, hello! I believe I found the rebels. Graciously waiting me. Hello. Oh. Don't you come this way? We're close to the target. <laughs> that was fun. I was like, alright, come at me, come at me, boom! He's dead. We got a necklace. Maybe Sierra could use this. Ooh, poison club, scouts, pantaloons. Thank you for all that. Good stuff. Yes, yes, very good. Oh, jeez. Oh, not more of these bats. These ones fell pretty easy, so I'm happy with that. Right, then we got this. For all of that. Oh, I'm carrying too much to sprint. Alright, well, let's uh, sort out some equipment. That would actually be nice for you, so we'll equip. those drop those two 
I'm going to have to get more, uh... Fascinating. This obstacle was deliberately placed here. I think we're on the right track. Their camp must be nearby. We must find a way to pass. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm pretty talented. You guys are going to have to do better than that, I hope. Thing. And sacrificing my ability to run. Yeah, that's fine. I can live with that. What I get for not selling things off in the first place. Let's see if we can end this with a rather peaceful resolution. I highly doubt it. But you never know, maybe. Maybe there's a chance that we can. Finally. Here's the camp of the rebel natives. The standing men called themselves Donea Exregal. Please, let's try and talk to them. I do not want to fight with my brothers without trying to reason with them first. Okay. We can, uh, I'll at least try to talk. Hello, friends! How are you guys doing today? Hello. Don't worry. I come in peace. I only wish to speak to your leader. I am the leader of this camp, Renaikse. And who might you be? My name is the Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. The congregation? Are those the Lugayet Blau? The yellow eyes? It's possible, yes. We live in the city south of the island. That's right. We hold no grudge against your people. Talk. I'm listening. I've come to speak to you about your attacks against all those who take the road to Hikmet. The Lions only got what they deserve. They have captured many of our people. We must release them. That's the price of war. If you fight, you risk men being taken prisoner. I'm not talking about warriors, Renaikse, but villagers kidnapped in our villages. They mainly attack on all Menawi. Those carrying the mark of the bond like you. They capture them, and we never see them again. We don't know what they are doing to them, but we are going to release them. I see. But our merchants have no role in this. They are not warriors. So why kill them? They brought food and weapons back to our enemies. We could not let them pass. If your merchants had fled, we would not have pursued them. But they resisted, so they do it. The city of Loyans is no longer to receive food or weapons. Nothing. I share your anger against the Lions, and I also hope to find our captured brothers. But the Rinaigse also use floating houses to transport things. Your attacks were useless. Listen, if what you told me is true, I fully understand why you're fighting. I'm even ready to help you clear up these disappearances. As long as you spare our merchants, you no longer need to worry about it. That was our last attack. Our troops are ready, and soon we will make the Luyan pay for the harm it has brought upon us. What are you talking about? Soon, the Donea Exrega will march together, and we will free our brothers. Uh, I'm not about to attack them, so let's just leave. Can you guarantee that our merchants will now be able to take this road without risking their lives? I always keep to my word. The time for small attacks is over. Now is the time of war. I'm afraid you're heading straight into a massacre. But since you promised me that our caravans will be spared, I have fulfilled my mission. Go in peace. We should prepare ourselves. Oh boy. I'd like a fast back over here or no? I don't think so. Nice little area though, I will give it that. It's been nice if there was a campsite here. Instead we get to wattle our way back. Uh, 
Uh, somebody was too dumb to sell off their items. That somebody's me. I, I was too dumb. Oh, what do we got here? Ooh! Five rate of fire? I need accuracy. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, please. I hope I will not regret letting them go. They are so full of hatred for the Alliance. The Donaya Exregal fought, as my mother did, to free our people from the Lions. And now, they are ready for a great battle. I hope they will not end up like my clan. I have to admit that the story of this attack is concerning. We should talk to Captain Rainhild about it. We can also inform him that the convoys will now be running smoothly. Yes, we can do that. Could I have always ascended this? Impossible to climb. Okay. I don't think I'm going to re regret letting them go. They are just merchants. Uh, well, sorry. They are just trying to fight to try to get their people back. Even if they try to go up against... Uh, Yeah, they, they're talking about going up against a city. I, I'd like to point that they they want to go up against a fully walled city. I would honestly love to see how they plan on getting in to that city. That would fascinate me. Okay, so let's see here. I need a... Uh... Alright, so we currently have 43. What happens if I craft just one? Okay, this yields five per, which is good, because uh, five extra bullets is fantastic. I'll actually go ahead and craft up all the bullets that I can craft at the moment. This, please. And that's 108 rounds. Oh, fantastic. Anyways, I'll be back in just a minute. All right. Let's get back to this. I don't really want to kill the deer. Not that I can. Oh wait, hold on. I fast travel from here. Uh, that's not at all what I wanted to do. Uh, camp in the woods, outpost camp. Let's go to the start to our residence. We can go towards a merchant. Hoping I'm going the right way for this. Because I really need to sell off some stuff. Except for that pistol that we found. Which is a five shot pistol. Wonder how many shots we can get at once. My guess would be probably a full on six shot revolver. Hello. Your Excellency, it's always a pleasure. Is there anything you would like? Actually, yes. I think uh, ask about the origin of our products. Where do your wares come from? Most come straight from the continent. That's still where the most refined objects come from, isn't it? But others are also crafted in Hikmet, of course. We have some great workshops here. All right, let's buy. All right, I mean sell. Okay, needle. Firearms, keeping that. Regulation pistol. Uh, nope, we are going to sell that. Our nice fancy explorer's hat. Go ahead and get rid of these other items. Definitely not for me. We've got to get some good armor for uh, the rest of our companions. Well, CR already has a pretty decent set. Didn't mean to sell a couple of these. And the priest gloves. Yep, sell both of those. Necklaces. I cannot sell that. Oh, that's equipped onto me. Yeah, that's equipped onto me. 
I can't equip this. I don't really want to equip that. See about maybe we could do something about that. And I can sell those sharp fangs as well as the scales. Has greatly reduced my carry capacity, which is good. All right, let's see about purchasing some more ammunition. Get some uh, healing potions, major healing potions. I'll uh, take some of those, please. Normal health potions, thank you. You got any? Yep. Purchase a bunch of hoof fungus. Full sovereign against burns. That'll give me a plus one to charisma. It'll be at the line of the bridge alliance. Hey, you know what? I don't. Thanks for your much. visit. Oh, thank you for your aid. I really needed that. I really needed to lighten the load. Honestly, I could have taken it a step further and cleared out the uh, pistol with a revolver from my inventory. But yeah, yeah, no, we're uh, probably we're more than likely going to approach. Uh... Oh, actually, I could do it right here. Fantastic. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we can actually sell that. Uh, put the flint lock. And I got another text message. Okay. Alrighty. Let's keep on going. Nothing important. That, that was nothing important for... For now, at least. That's for me to remember for tomorrow. Alright, so good news. They're not going to attack you any the merchants anymore. Bad news. They're going to gear up for a major attack here. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? I managed to trace the rebels who attacked the caravans. They will no longer be a problem. You eliminated them? No, that's not necessary. But you must know that this group is part of a much bigger army. An army that is ready to go to war against Hikmet. We have been at war with the rebels for a long time. They did not speak of skirmishes, but of a pitched battle. They want to free their imprisoned comrades and will stop at nothing to do so. This is terrible news. We must prepare the troops immediately. I'll send a message to Governor Buran. Thank you for warning us, Your Excellency. You've given us a chance to resist their assault. I know it's not much, but I hope you'll accept this as a token of gratitude. Thank you, Captain. Alright, well that's good. I wonder if we can bring an, e bring an end to these fights. Nice if we could. Anyways, got uh, Fight the Scholars Expedition Camp? No. That's the main quest. I'm still doing some side quests at the moment. Oh, uh, we do need to do that. I would like to do that. We're currently following this quest here, so let's get out onto the main map. I'm not going to take your services. I am going to collect this. There's more creatures over there. Actually, you know what? I will... Oh. And welcome back. You have made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed, maybe share this video to anybody who you think will enjoy my content, and also don't forget to check out some of my other stuff. I don't only, I'm not only doing this game, but I also have done a ton of other games. Well, a ton, I think, in cap, well, I'm not sure how many games I've done at this point, but anyways, here's a little, small little bit of collection of games that I've done. And if you look on screen, it should take you to either another video or a playlist. Maybe you'll enjoy that. Perhaps you might not. I don't know. We will find out. Hope you all enjoyed. And until next one, take it easy.